Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we'll show you how to create a map on just about anything using Google My Maps. We'll show you how to collaborate, and we'll show you how to share with the world, and where to put your citations. Okay, so this is a quick way you can create a map with data that you collected from your students. So, I've got my My Maps map opened up. It's blank at the moment. But what I did was collect data from my students. And I put the information that I wanted to get from them from a research assignment, and they submitted it. Send a copy of my responses is always a good idea. Um, you have to have the location, that is so critical. If you don't have locations, then that means Google Maps will not be able to read uh, where to put things on your map. And so their information came up as this. So we have the different kinds of conflicts, conflict is our topic here, and their information, their sources, and that kind of thing. Now this is all of the data, but what I did was take all of that data and I put them into separate tabs here and what's going to happen is I can upload with different colored pins the different kinds of conflict so it's a much easier map to look at. I'll show you how it works but just to recap all the data came into one sheet all I did was tap add sheet and I copied and pasted the kind of information from filtering so that I had little chunks of information or smaller chunks of information to work with. And then I dragged these in the order I want them to appear. There's a bit of copying and pasting going on here. So now what I'm going to do is take this main sheet and drag it to the back because when I import the data, this first sheet is the only data that's going to come up. So let's go back to the map. And so let's give my map a title. Now, I've got a description that I will add a little bit later. I'm going to save it for now. And if I want to change that, all I have to do is just tap on internal conflicts again and type in or paste in my description and I'm good to go. What I want to focus on here is our layers. So for the first one, I'm going to change the layer name to Civil Wars. Click Save. And now I'm going to import. Now remember, internal conflicts is the name of my spreadsheet. Now I could upload a CSV file if I want, but I've got this in Google Drive already because when you submit with a Google form, you can make a sheet. So I'm going to search for that by typing in some characters from the title uh, of the file or the file name and then click on it. Next thing I want to do is just tap on location. All of this information will joyfully appear. Click continue, same idea, click location, and finish. All I have to do is wait for my civil wars to populate. And so now, I'm going to see my pins with the data that was given to me. If I want, I can go in and change the pin colors. I don't really want to do that. This is my biggest set of data, so I'm going to leave it at blue. Now it's time to go back and get the other information. So I go back to my spreadsheet. Now that I'm in my spreadsheet, I'm going to take Insurgency and I'm just going to drag it over here. Now, whoa! Now that Insurgency is dragged to the top, that's the data that's going to appear in my map. I go back to my map. I want to add a layer right there. So I tap Add Layer. I'm going to give it a title. Click Save. Now I want to import. Click import. Same thing. This is in Google Drive. So I look for the name of the file. There it is. Same idea. Location, continue. Location, continue. In order to read places on the map and that data, Google Maps needs the location. And so now you can see that I've got insurgency added. So let me change the colors to each of these pins just to make it stand out a little bit more. And so now I want to do this with my other details. 
So now I have a map with all my different uh, kinds of conflicts in there. And so what I can do is have students collaborate on this with me. They can add images and videos, whether it's through a URL or through searching uh, YouTube or uh, image search, or even throwing them into a drive folder. And they can put YouTube videos in there as well. So let's, uh, for example, go to Hong Kong. And if I want to add a video or an image, I just have to tap that. I don't have the image URL, so I'm going to go to Google Image Search, type Hong Kong protest, and choose an image that I like. I'll put it in there, and maybe I want to add a video. So I just have to click Save, click on the camera again, and now maybe I want to go to uh, you know, a YouTube search. If I knew the URL, I could paste it in there if I want. But in this case, I'm just going to search. And so I have a nice short video here, DW News, BBC, BBC Secure. So click Save. And so now when people go to view, they've got a little bit more context. So a nice collaborative class activity. If you want to have students collaborate, simply click Share and invite people in. You can add a message and remember to click Send. You also want to make your uh, map viewable on the web by making it public on the web or anyone with the link. I'm not going to do that now. So we'll cancel those. And you always want to preview. How is this going to look? Click preview. So when your map is finished, people can either click on the pins and see the information and videos and things that you might have embedded. Or, if they want, they can simply tap on a place in the menu to the left and look for the information there. It's pretty straightforward. Remember, when you're ready to share to the world, you just have to click share and off you go. There's other stuff you can go with, do with my maps, but we won't go there until another video. And when you want to share, simply tap share and get a copy of the URL, but make sure they can view it publicly. Thanks for watching the video. If you're a student or a teacher in subjects like history, geography, government, economics, check out some of the other videos. The mission of this channel is to help students build skills and teachers build their toolkit. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. Hope to see you again.